Hey there, Mr. S from Somerville Wilson, and I'm just uh, making a short video today on using the FabFilter Pro C2 to sidechain in Ableton Live 10. Because um, I looked around on the internet, and there's lots of videos, tutorials, but um, they weren't uh, very clear on the routing and, and how to set things up, and also most of them tell you to sidechain to kick drum. Um, which tends to give you um, a lot more of a, a pumping effect. And if you want a more transparent um, effect without a lot of pumping, um, and it helps clean up your mixes and um, tighten up your drums and let them punch through in the mix a lot better. And uh, I thought I'd just uh, do a quick tutorial and uh, show you how we do that in Ableton Live 10. So... Um, here we've got the instance of the FabFilter Pro C2 on an external instrument in live, which is my modal electronics um, synth. And um, it's being sidechained from an external source, which in this case is one of these one of these channels here. And this is the thing with the FabFilter Pro C2. You need to set up a separate channel for every instance of it that you want to use in your mix. So unlike the um, Live 8 compressor, which we I use a lot for side chaining, not the, the current one that's in Live, because this one's a lot better, you can choose your source from this audio in drop down. So you can basically just put that on any channel you want and say, come from my side chain channel or whatever. But with the fab filter, you have to actually just get rid of that. You actually have to make a channel to act as your side chain. Um, so like we were just saying, um, a lot of people use the kick, but um, it's best to use a really short um, pulse, snare, clap, rim, rim shot's really good, or um, whatever. You can use um, uh, an audio clip. As long as the um, sound is a really, really short sound, because you're not going to hear it, all it's going to do is trigger the um, side chain channel on the fab filter. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and pull the sound that you have this compressor on um, out of the way very quickly so y the transient of the drums can come through. So a real... Um, First of all, we'll just have a quick look at the um, plug-in. Oh, where are we? Here we are. So, very nice plug-ins um, from FabFilter. All their plugins are really good if you can get them, get hold of them. Um, you have in and external, so you set it to external mode. You've got a level to adjust how much is coming in. You've got a nice um, filter here to um, shape and isolate the um, frequencies that the compressor will be affected by and then you've got your usual ratio, threshold, attack, release and uh, gain stages and you can do parallel compression by mixing the wet and the dry together without having to do um, uh, e external bussing and routing and things which is really nice like you had to in the old days. Um, and a nice graph to show you what's going on. So um, we'll just switch back to the arrangement. And oh. so here I've got two side chain channels. Um, and I just make them dark so I know um, there's no audio coming out of those. Or it's a bus or something like that. It's a good. It's just a good trick to um, color code your stuff so you know what's what. Um, so what I did was I copied the um, kick drum pattern from the kick here over onto a, another channel and called it Fab Filter Side Chain. And then back in our mixer page, this is where the important bit is. You then in the audio two choose where you would like that sidechain information to go. And in this case, we're sending 
the fab filter sidechain 2 to serum and the fab filter sidechain 1 to the modal 008 and um, it's uh, that's what you need to do sorry to um, get it to work otherwise you can't just put it on a um, on a channel flick it over to external and expect it to side chain it, it won't work that way you've got to set the routing up so let's have a listen and um, see what it's doing <laughs> As, as you can see, those um, the compressor's pushing down nice and sharply. Um, if we were to raise the release, we'll get more of a round curve. Which will sort of mimic what a kick drum would do if you use that as the source for your side chain. So if you want a nice, cleaner, tighter mix without an obvious side chain pumping effect, that's what you need to do. So, once again, we'll just um, reiterate that the routing, um, so you need to have a separate channel with information on it, and the Audio 2 drop-down needs to go to the instrument recording whatever, uh, channel that you want side chained that has the Fab Filter Pro on it. So you don't put the Fab Filter Pro on these channels. You put them on the channel that you want to be affected. So we'll have a listen to this little piece that I wrote this afternoon and um, and see how it all works together. <laughs>
yeah thanks for watching um and we'll see you next time from s and w studios with some more tips um some more stuff working on tracks and whatever else see you next time bye